Today is going to be a simple five minute eyeshadow tutorial on how to achieve a beautiful purple eye look. If you are concerned about what color eyeshadow to use, purple is very forgiving for most skin tones and eye colors. So let's get into the video on how to achieve a beautiful purple eyeshadow look in less than five minutes. Hey guys, so first things first, I have a full face of foundation on. I have prepped my eyelids with the same foundation. So if you do see a little bit of creasing here over the eyelids, it's only because I've got foundation all over my face. Under the eyes, I use foundation. I didn't even use a separate concealer. I pretty much just use the Dior spray foundation all over the face, pat it in with the damp beauty sponge, a little bit of bronzer, a little bit of blush, eyeshadow pencil. This one here is by Laura Mercier. It is in the shade Amethyst. I'll just give you guys a swatch of that. It's just a beautiful neutral toned purple eyeshadow shade that I think will complement most eye colors. Now, in terms of deeper skin tones, you could possibly go in with a lighter eye primer, uh, even the MAC. Um, I think there's a few different eye primers that come colored, even the Urban Decay. They have sort of like a opaque eye primer. If you put that all over the eyes, this can stand out a lot better. Now, the other thing that I will say is using a lighter lavender shade over the crease first really helps to amplify the look. I'm just using this baby tea. Now, it is like a light pink. However, I'm going to mix it up to make a light lavender shade by mixing these two shades together, the medium purple and the light pink, to put a wash of color over the lid. And that's just going to help give a more popping effect. I am using a very, very, very flimsy brush here, which is by Sigma, the E36 brush. And I'm just gonna clean that off with a little microfiber towel, just to make sure that it's nice and clean. Dipping into the pale pink and the lighter purple, giving that a good swirl around. Now, as I said, this is a little bit tacky from the foundation and you can go in with a light you can go in with a light translucent powder if you want to but i'm just looking down into my mirror here and i'm placing the brush let's give that a bit of a tap placing the brush in the center of the eye and i'm doing a window wipe motion back and forth just to give a beautiful hue and this will actually really complement the deeper amethyst shade when we go in with it. See, just like that, really nice soft wash of color. I'm gonna dip into that pale pink and that purple again, tap off and do the other eye. And why I love this brush is it stays in place, doesn't drag, and it's just simply a beautiful brush. I think I might take it a little bit higher up. So I'm gonna dip in back into those shades again and work that shadow a little bit up higher towards the brow bone. Not going up directly to the brow bone, but just, just a little bit higher. Because when you open your eye, you can then see the color better. I'm looking directly into the mirror here and I can place the brush where I want it and then do the same exact motion. If you really wanted to blow this out, you could get a clean brush and go over the edges and work it, work it, work it as much as you can, even taking it possibly to the top part of the brow bone. But I don't wanna do that. I wanna keep it focused just like this. Now we go in with the eyeshadow pencil. I'm looking down into my mirror here, but I'm just trying to also give you guys a close up look of what I mean by putting that shadow stick all over the lid and out a corner as well. Just 
with my pinky, I'm just going over the edge of that shadow, blending it in with the lighter purple, and also winging it out really, really, really softly to the outer edge of the eye, if you can see that. So it looks like that. Just do the other eye. Don't be afraid to really pack on that shadow stick because when you go to blend it out with your finger, it will sheer out. Okay. Using the same shadow stick, lining under the eyes. I, I do have a bit of fallout there, but I'm not too worried about it. It sort of just completes the, the look of the purple. Now, I figure most of you would want to know how to blend this line out up the top. So although I don't mind it, I'm cleaning off the brush, the excess powder, and then I go over the edge of that shadow to shear it out. And that's pretty much the look. I am gonna go in now with some mascara on the top and bottom lashes, and I will show you the completed look. And that's the completed look, guys, with the top and bottom lashes done with mascara. Really is such a simple look, only takes five minutes, and you have beautiful purple hue on the eyes. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up and consider subscribing to my channel. I will see you all again in my next video. Bye for now.